I'm really thinking we should start planning ahead these uh, guest vloggers on Monday because I keep introducing the weeks and I don't know about you guys, but my week doesn't start on Tuesday. <laughs> So you guys are getting another webcam video because I'm having a couple problems with the whole editing thing. I recently put a lot of stuff onto my computer which used up a lot of the hard disk space. So for some reason iMovie ends up lagging quite a bit, making editing really impossible and uploading really slow and it's just not working out that well. It's gonna talk to my computer as if we were on Skype or something together, which we I think we should plan soon because we finally all got each other on Skype. I don't know what to talk about. It's 10 o'clock already. It's freaking hot again. I love Canada, but the 100 degrees Celsius range of temperatures drives me nuts. I don't like it going to minus 35 in the winter, and I don't like it going to plus 35 in the summer. It's, it's too much of a span. Like I have to have such huge wardrobe differences. I wish I lived in a more plain climate, I guess. England doesn't get this span of temperatures. I'm so jealous. Sarah Michelle, you recently made a vlog recently um, on your main channel about uh, internet relationships and how technology is kind of forcing us to step away from our in real life relationships, offline relationships, not in real life, because the internet is real life. Our offline relationships and be distanced from them because you need to text or you need to Facebook them or you need to contact them through some way of technology instead of just hanging out face to face. I just wanted to hear the other girls' opinions on this sort of thing. I personally have a lot of internet friends when I was in, um, I guess, junior high around there, so like grade 7, 8, and 9, all of whom I've lost contact with because of some crazy internet drama that I don't really feel like discussing. Now with YouTube, it's definitely possible to start online relationships with friends, um, make friends online like ours, and I'm definitely willing to maintain and start these friendships quite often. I'm just, I have a hard time making them. So I don't necessarily put my online friendships on the top of my friendships list. I know Sarah so Michelle, George is your best friend, and obviously your relationship with him is a lot screen to screen, not face to face, or over the telephone, maybe over the telephone, but less so than someone who you met in university. Most of my friends I've met in university, we really only talk face to face because I don't text that much, and none of us really use Skype that much. I think the enhance is important to maintain your real friendships, but it's not necessary. So it's important to stay in touch, but if you know there's a certain point when you're going to see them again, then you can always just wait it out to that point and if you're good enough friends you should be able to reconnect without having that technological contact from time to time. Whereas internet relationships, because it's based entirely on that technological content, you can completely ignore them and then you'll lose that friendship entirely. I don't think technology is as important to friendships as people make it out to be, I think, but that main reason is because I don't use it in my friendships that much. So that might have to do with the fact that I'm really, I like to be secluded. I don't like to be bothered. I'd rather be at home by myself or with the people, but I don't want to have to work at those friendships when I'm in my alone time because that alone time is really important to me. How do you feel about this, Sarah and Candice or, and Sarah Michelle, if you want to add more to what you guys said earlier? So I think we should have more of these serious conversations on our channel occasionally, even if they're just off the wall, like instead of just vlogging about our days because I've run out of exciting days to share. <laughs> Kenneth, I'll see you tomorrow.